Now, if you have a collection of watches, small or large, something that is worthwhile considering is having a collection of aftermarket straps. You don't need many. Sometimes you just have a couple. Sometimes you can have a few. Sometimes you can have a lot if you absolutely want. But the thing that I've been struggling with, the thing that I've been struggling with because I've been looking for aftermarket straps, is finding good aftermarket straps. Buying something that is something special, something that lifts the watch experience, something that adds to the collection, something that allows me to wear my watches in a way that makes them feel even better and also feel something a little bit different on wrist. Hello, you're watching James. My name is James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. And today, I'm talking about straps for your watches because I have been on a bit of a journey lately. I have been on a bit of a journey trying to sort of shift away from bracelets, or at least shift in a direction that allows me to have other options other than just bracelets. I've been looking at leather straps, I've been looking at canvas straps, and I've been really struggling to find what I want. I've been really struggling to find something that is good. Something that sort of makes the experience of wearing the watch even better, or at least something that is really interesting and fun and comfortable to wear on wrist. Something that looks good on wrist. Something that suits the watches that I have and that I enjoy wearing and that I actually want to wear. Which is why it has turned out so perfectly that Artem Watch Straps contacted me. You would have seen that sponsored icon because Artem was nice enough to send me a range of their watch straps. I've been able to add them to my collection. I've been able to wear them, enjoy them, and now I get to share the experience with these Artem Soundcloth watch straps with you guys. And I am going to leave a link to their website down in the description of this video. And to be honest, I've been enjoying these watch straps so much, I'm going to leave that link in the description of every video I have coming up. So if you ever sort of think, hey, what was that strap that James was talking about? Maybe I should have checked them out. Maybe I should sort of consider buying one for myself. Well, it will be in the description of any video from now on. One of the reasons for that is because I've been enjoying them so much and I actually believe that these are good straps worthwhile considering and they are an Australian company. And it's nice to know, being an Australian myself, that there are other watch enthusiasts out there that have taken their watch passion and really put it into something. Obviously, I'd have a YouTube channel. They've chosen to do watch straps and they've done this for a very specific reason. And it's a reason that I absolutely understand. It's because they've been wanting to wear a really nice strap on their nice watches and they haven't been able to find them. And they particularly like the look and the feel of the sort of sailcloth style. But the people out there that are selling them, they seem to be okay straps. And do you really want to put an okay strap on your nice watch? I certainly don't. It's the issue that I've been having when trying to look for straps for my watches. I find lots of straps that are okay, but I don't want just okay. I want something that's special. And so far, my experience with these straps, these Artem sailcloth watch straps, it is something special. Let's flip the camera, and I want to show you why I think they're so special. So before I even show you these lovely straps that were sent to me, let me show you how they came, because they came in really good packaging. Inside the packaging, there was individual, individual sort of sleeves that they came in, and inside all those individual sleeves was another Artem sleeve, which the straps actually came inside. So they came well packaged and well presented. So first you want to say they come in quite a few different variations. We come in black and navy blue. So we have the black variations of this sailcloth. We have a blue variation or a dark blue of this sailcloth. Color match stitching or white stitching. There's a couple of different hardware options as well. This is one of the, uh, the buckles that you get, but there's another option as well. You can have two variations of a deployant clasp. This one's really cool. It's like a... Oop, it's all sort of a spring paste one, which is very cool. It just flicks and flicks. So that's one variation. The second variation here is a more sort of traditional probably style one. Double pusher, opens up, all nice and milled and very, very cool. So you've got a few different variations. So the two buckles, the two colors, the um, two different styles of stitching. Also, there is a sort of a non-reinforced hole version. And then there's a reinforced hole style, I think, under here. You'll probably be able to see it when you open it up. It's reinforced holes. But what I've really been impressed about so far is the quality of these things. Absolutely incredible. It really is. They've designed a watch strap that's not just sort of a good watch strap. They're looking for a brilliant watch strap. And that's sort of what we're getting here. Because this sort of sailcloth material, I really wasn't sure quite what it was going to feel like. I have been sailing many times in my life, and I know what sailcloth actually feels like. 
to me this has, has a slightly more sort of rubber feel to it it's not rubber but it has that slightly sort of soft and very flexible sort of feel to it as well which is really nice it's really comfortable a little bit of padding at the top there really nice strap on wrist you can also have quick release spring bars or normal spring bars and you'll see underneath here there is another surface there this black surface which sort of separates from the blue and from the other black there just something a little bit more comfortable that's on wrist as well really impressed by the sort of look and the feel of these things they're just sort of designed sort of something to um fit any sort of watch obviously Here's an affordable watch. I've sort of deliberately sort of put on two of the watches, two of the watches that I think it's going to suit best on, but also shows you how you can put it on an affordable watch and really lifts the whole experience of that watch. Or put on a little bit more of an expensive watch. I mean, okay, Hamilton's not super high end by any means, but it's certainly a bit more of an expensive watch and it really lifts that experience as well. Really happy that I actually had the blue strap to go onto this one as well because the strap that came with this Hamilton was this sort of black leather and it was okay, but I didn't really appreciate it. And that's when these sort of straps are going to come in perfectly because look how amazing this strap looks on this Hamilton. That silver and blue, that dark blue really setting it off and having a really nice deployment clasp really sort of makes the whole experience the watch even better. And it just sits on the wrist really nicely and really sets off the watch as well. This was a really lovely watch anyway. I really liked my Hamilton, but I didn't really like the strap that it came on. So I was actually searching for another strap. And honestly, I could not have asked for anything better. Having this color, this look, this feel, this quality, it really sets this watch off and really does something rather special with it. And I think that is the idea behind Artem. They really wanted to make a good quality strap that you could put with some nice watches. And you sort of didn't, weren't sort of downgrading your watch, you are upgrading your watch. And that's certainly what it feels like on my Hamilton. And it definitely feels like that on my Bernie as well. You know, the strap is more expensive than the watch, but it really sort of makes this watch that I love really feel even better than it was. Now, I haven't actually worn this one before and I deliberately didn't wear this one just to show you what it's like straight out of the box. I've been wearing that one a fair bit, so I've sort of worn that in a little bit, but you can see it basically fits perfectly already. It's already conforming to my wrist, a little bit of a squish, a little bit of a squish, yeah, and basically that feels as good as the other one, which I've been wearing for a few days now. So there's not a real wear in time as well, which is nice because it is nice and soft. So I'm really quite impressed by that too. Some of these straps, you get these aftermarket straps, sometimes they can take a little while to wear in and that's okay, that's okay, but it's nice when you put it on and it pretty much just feels perfect straight away. Now, of course, there is going to be a question of price and depending on which variation you get, depending on whether you get it with a deployment clasp or a normal clasp or a size things or which sort of style you want, they range between 85 US up to about 146 US dollars. And I was thinking about, well, is that a good price? Is that a cheap price? Does that feel a little bit expensive? And initially I thought, well, maybe that's a little bit expensive, but then realistically, I actually thought about what the price was like compared to other straps that I've been considering. And I've been considering a lot of straps recently. This leather strap from Barton, this costs about 50 US dollars and it's really nice, but I can already say that the Artem straps feel more quality. Suits that watch well, but just from a comparative perspective, definitely a more premium product. I've also been looking to get some more leather straps from Hamilton because I like this one so much. I wear it so much that so I thought that would be nice to get another Hamilton strap to wear on watches. Well, this one costs over 120 US dollars from an, another dealer, but they are Hamilton branded. So 120 US dollars really puts it into the same sort of realm as these ones as well. So that really says something because this is a particularly amazing ostrich leather strap. To consider a sailcloth strap that has that same premium feeling, that puts it into perspective as well. There are, however, a couple of other sailcloth straps out there that are a little bit cheaper. Barton does one for 45 US dollars, and Strapco does one for about 30 US dollars. But I can already tell just by looking at the pictures on the website there, they're not going to be of this sort of quality. So if you want something that's something a little bit more premium, that has a really nice feel to it, I think these are the ones that are going to be worthwhile. Scouring the internet, looking for other options, Definitely others available, definitely others available at a lower price, but none of them sort of look at the quality of this. And they weren't really looking to do something sort of uh, affordable and a budget thing. There's plenty of affordable budget straps out there. It's an issue that I've been having so often recently, finding lots of straps that are out there that are probably okay or certainly affordable, but finding something that's actually special, that actually makes you want to wear them and actually makes you want to change them over onto one of your watches rather than leave it on the original strap, that's actually harder than it sounds.
So a great job there by Artem. Thank you so much for producing some really nice straps. I'm going to keep an eye on the company, see if they come out with anything else in the future, because I'm definitely going to be interested. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, maybe check these ones out next.